We're here today to celebrate the official opening of Lang's Building Supplies, superb new facilities here on the Sunshine Coast. And uh, there couldn't be a better position when you think about the uh, amount of construction that's going to go on in this neck of the woods over the next 20 years. Um, this facility is perfectly timed. And I want to thank Bob Lang and his management team, especially GM David Whisk, for the confidence that they've shown in the Sunshine Coast. And I think this is something that people sometimes forget Capital uh, is sought after in lots of locations. Uh, we're just one option, and uh, I know Bob uh, had other options, but he could see uh, what I can see, and that is a very bright future for the Sunshine Coast and elected to make his investment here and therein create a whole lot of opportunity for others. The $20 million investment made by Langs, uh, as seen by the pure size of the facilities on show today, is a great outcome for our regional economy and a move that will support our local building and construction industry into the future. Uh, in fact, along with the expanding uh, operations um, uh, from their long-term location at Yatla, this facility has also seen additional services added, including a drive-through trade store and a larger factory with additional machinery for their on-site manufacturing of roof trusses. The Langs are also already planning on expanding their operations to start manufacturing aluminium window frames within the next 18 months. These plans show the confidence and commitment Langs has for the expansion uh, or their expansion in our region. And it's confidence that means local jobs for local residents. In fact, Langs put out a call for 100 new employees in May uh, uh, as they prepare to open their doors with many of those employees here this morning. And, and I can include those employees in the 11,500 11, new jobs created on the Sunshine Coast last year. And that really is an outstanding effort and uh, goes to the heart of what uh, my council's focus has been on in, in building a stronger economy and more opportunity for people and the kids living on the Sunshine Coast. And a lot of those jobs were in the construction sector. And the construction sector will continue to be a major beneficiary uh, of the major projects on the Sunshine Coast, like uh, the University Hospital, like the uh, uh, Sunshine Coast Airport International Expansion, and like the new CBD being developed uh, in Maroochydore. But add to that Caloundra South, Palm View, um, our uh, initiatives in trying to bring an international broadband submarine cable here, and our uh, very real plans around a light rail uh, network that uh, will enable people to move around more readily, uh, and it's a great combination. Langs also have plans to double the staff numbers in the next 12 to 18 months. So that's a really good start for our next 11,500 jobs. Bob, thank you. And also there'll be an additional 50 jobs coming online when they start the window framing manufacturing. So, so what a great outcome, 250 jobs on the Sunshine Coast. The investment made by Langs during construction is estimated to have contributed 54 million to the local economy. And, and once they are fully operational, it's estimated they'll contribute $193 million to our regional economy every year. Their presence here will also support a number of our region making projects, as I said, Aura at Caloundra South, Harmony at Palm View, and no, and no doubt many other developments. Langs are one of many large businesses who have shown a high level of confidence in our region with large scale investment in facilities announced in recent months, such as Bizfern, the Happy Snacks Company at Landsborough, along with Freeze Dried Industry and the Epicurean Products at Yandina. These are great outcomes for our economy and positive signs that Council and the business community are working collaboratively towards the goals identified in our regional economic development strategy. I'd like to congratulate the Langs team on all they've achieved and I'm pleased to be able to be here today to officially open the new premises.